The California Supreme Court has overturned a ban on gay marriage. The 4-3 ruling makes California the second state now to allow gays and lesbians to marry. Brian Brown is executive director for the National Organization for Marriage in California. He joins us now from Washington. And Brian, uh, California already allowed domestic partnerships for gay couples. How does this ruling affect homosexuals? Well, the, the, the ruling is a horrible ruling. If you look at the, the decision itself, they're basing their arguments, their, the, 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 the four justices that overturned marriage in California are essentially saying, well, because you have domestic partnerships in California, that, therefore you must have same-sex marriage, because if you have all the same rights, benefits, responsibilities, then you also need marriage. And they're doing this in the face of the fact that uh, we, along with other groups, have collected over 1.1 million signatures and submitted them to the state of California to have a state constitutional amendment. So the court is essentially saying, we don't care about this, we're making this decision, we don't care that the people already voted on this once, but it does highlight how important it is that we have a state constitutional amendment, because if, if the people vote on this, we have a chance to stop this from happening. Ryan, uh, Governor Schwarzenegger opposes this amendment that you're talking about. Uh, California is considered a liberal state in many respects. And how difficult will it be to pass uh, such an amendment? We're very confident. It's going to be a fight. But people said when uh, we started collecting signatures that we wouldn't get the signatures necessary to be on the ballot. Again, remember, in 2000, uh, voters in California overwhelmingly, by s over 61 percent, voted to define marriage as the union of one man and one woman. We're very confident that if we get this before the voters, it will pass. Uh, it, we've got a lot to do. It's going to be a big fight. They're saying that they're going to raise $15 million to, to go on a massive media campaign against the amendment. And we're, we're working day in and day out to have the resources necessary to, to, to get out there and let people know the truth. This amendment simply uh, keeps marriage as the union of one man and one woman. And I think this court decision shows to everyone the importance of having this on the ballot. Uh, Brian, many Californians are outraged over this decision. One woman says, it's terrible. I don't know what to say. I'm really upset that the court is overturning what the people voted on. Brian, yeah. do you think uh, voters are outraged enough to approve a state constitutional I, amendment this way? I definitely think so. I think, I think people are tired of uh, the courts deciding that they're going to redefine our most basic institution, that the courts know better than the people. I think people are fed up with this sort of thing happening. Uh, and, and we're, again, we're getting calls uh, all the time saying, how could this happen? This makes it even more important that we get the amendment. So I, people should not give up hope. This is not a done deal. Uh, as, as Matt Staver said earlier, there will be motions filed to stay this decision. It still needs to go back down to the appellate court. Uh, and so we've got a 30-day window probably in order to, to, to stop this from being enacted before the people vote. There's a long tradition in California of the courts not uh, making decisions when something's uh, when, when there's a initiative in front of the voters because it shows a disrespect for the whole proposition process. So uh, we're very hopeful. Uh, you know, if people in California want to know what they can do, they can go to our website at www.nomcalifornia.org. There's a lot that people can do. So the, Ryan, yes, this Ryan, is a horrible decision, but there, but don't lose hope. Ryan, we're going to have to wrap it up there. But uh, okay. thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.